Box number 66. How hard is it gonna go? How hard is it gonna go? Are we gonna thrive or are we gonna flop? What we got? What we got? Well, I certainly don't think this is any good. Yeah, for sure. What is up guys, this is Kobe here, and welcome to episode 40 of the Reboot series. 40 episodes of the series now. As you can see, I'm in hell at the moment. We're never leaving. We're here forever. <laughs> or, or just gonna be here till the end of time. But yeah, I just did one run on like the very last bit of day 239. I pretty much skipped all of day 239. 239 aside from that i did all my dailies and stuff though so no need to worry about that also day seven of the camilla event was a 1 exp node one huge shocker but we're in day 240 now so that's just that and because i'm in day 240 i've done zero oz runs today because the run that i just did counted towards yesterday so i still have five more that i can do today and i'm probably going to do all five of them so time to buckle up because well we got boxes 67 through 71 coming in right about now. Run number 67, or box 67 rather. See what we get. If I get a 4, I'm done. That's it. Like, I'm actually just at the point where if I get a 4, I'm just, it's, it's up. But there's an 11% chance to get a 4, so it's not going to happen. Almost had it. Uh, almost had it. Yeah, okay. Weapon jump 3, drop it, go again. I'm pretty certain that a weapon jump 4 is still weaker than a roar 3, but it might be able to beat it out due to the extra 2 seconds, plus the server lag on it as well, because weapon jump is affected by server lag, while roar is not. So it can actually make a huge difference in certain occasions, which is why I wouldn't mind just settling with the weapon jump 3, or a 4, I mean, not a 3, I already have a 3. That might have been my 4th weapon jump. I feel like, was it? It, it? I think it was my fourth one. It'd be like that. Run number 68. Another day, another another runs with... Uh, ah! Alright, my second roar. This is it right here. Bro, this game is so ass, man. I swear to God. Alright, box number 69. No funny number funny business. I know the average age of my viewers are like 25. Y'all are like grown ass men and stuff like that, so I don't want to hear anything ridiculous. 70. 70. I can't. Not only do I have 70 runs, but I think I got this last run and I never really brought it up as well. Uh, crit damage. One. Doesn't matter. Um, but I got the 1 million point achievement. I think it's in Adventure, and then Oz is like right there, so yeah, 1 mil, got that, 0.52% clear rate, so I should have the, uh, there's a 10 mil achievement, I'm pretty sure, uh, no, that's level 4 all rings, I, I don't know, wait, 3 mil, 3 mil for a legendary achievement, wow, that doesn't even seem that far away, unironically, that's sad, what's gonna happen first, I get 3 mil or I get a roar, 3. Not even a 4, just a 3. Obviously, like, a Roar 3 is the most likely thing, but I don't know what to do about this, man. We'll do one more run today, and then that's it. That's it. Six runs today, pretty much. <laughs> Going from boxes 66 to 71, and box 71 is a Crisis M level 4. Thanks for the n level 4 ring, by the way. You you gave me the wrong level 4 ring, though. I think that might be a bug. They should go about fixing that. Anyway, all I have left for the day is dailies. And there should be a Sunday Maple reveal in about four and a half hours. Um, if it's a Star Force event, you know, somehow, some way, 5, 10, 15, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know. And I gotta start rushing these bosses. Like, I'm talking a lot of bosses. All of this character's bosses, my Dark Knight's bosses, my Dawn Warrior's bosses. We just gotta do bosses. Because I'm gonna need to get that 9 bill or however much money I'm gonna get as soon as I possibly can. Also, I claimed this from Golden Chariot. This is the, um, ring fashion thingy. Um, a lot of it is from previous updates like Adventure, Arc, Nova, Beyond, aka Override, and V. And then we also have some Heroes ones like Black Mage, uh, and then this is Damien. Not really sure what these other two are, but I think going by what I have, uh, I, I like this one the most. I'll probably go ahead and take the purple one. I know my Dark Knight has Black Mage on Luna, 
just because I thought that looked the coolest for it, but I might actually like this ring a bit more. Um, Heroes of Maple Act 3, yeah. I don't think it fits my character, honestly. <laughs> but it, it's it's a chill ring to have, I feel like. Another Tower of Voss day today. I'm about to figure out what day it is inside my head right now. I think it's 241. Yeah, there we go. 241. So Sunday Maple was revealed and fortunately slash unfortunately at the same time, it's not 51015. Uh, kind of mixed about it, but it's okay because I can still definitely take the time to, ga to gather more mesos. That means I can for certain, even if the event is next week, I should hit around like 40 bill by the time of the event. 40 bill, assuming I literally squeeze in like all of my reboot bosses by, well, literally do all of them on the day of reset. Like, I, I gotta do as many as I can. I'm talking all my buck bosses, all my Dark Knight bosses, my Dawn Warrior bosses, because it, it's gonna be a really, a really long day. But we already know what we're about to do. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. We're doing Tower of Oz. Five runs. Uh, boxes 72 through 76, I believe. And that's it. Just best of luck goes to me. Also, day 8 item, because I did my daily yesterday. I didn't talk about it. But the day 8 item, I got the overall. So I can finally wear this overall. I like how I didn't even talk about the Spiegelman fit that I be having on. Just because. I'm also doing weekly bosses on Reboot today. Um, you know, on my buck. So I just want to make sure I, you know get as much done as possible during that too but this is the full event outfit you know for a free outfit this doesn't even look that bad i will go ahead and rock this i i will i will rock this for sure i changed my skin tone to match the spiegelman hat so i'm gonna go ahead and change it back to the uh, soft pedal skin can't do it here all right i love the look wait this is actually a pretty decent look i'm not even gonna lie not too bad for a free fit Anyway, here comes five runs of hell even though i'm probably only going to do two of them off stream uh, I'll do two off stream, and then I might stream the rest while I'm doing bosses and stuff. Um, just because. I am looking at maybe opening another shining box today as well. Uh, might spend the coins for it, not really sure. I know I said I would save coins for 2x, but honestly, I don't even mind at this rate. I would like to open as many shining boxes as possible, just to be able to see what happens. But Alright, we're going in for run 72. First run done. Uh, gonna do the second one immediately. What good comes with box 72 anyway? We're approaching that big 100 number. We got a sum 2, which is totaling, by the way. This is just called Ring of Sum on KMS. I'm sure I've said that before, but we already have a level 4 of this ring, so out it goes. Let's do another run. Uh, I don't think I put that crit damage ring in the stash that I have right here. Um, this actually is, I believe, the first crit damage ring I've pulled. And considering I have the weapon jump too, um, well, weapon jump three, but weapon jump as well is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I have 23. Okay, I have every ring except for ultimatum in tower boost. I don't know why I don't have tower boost. That's such a bad ring to get last, man. Like I could be getting more points, but it'd be like that. 73. Keep it going. Keep it going. Box pieces. Ooh, you know what? I might be tempted to open a shining box right now, honestly. Just gonna go ahead and open some of these other boxes first to see if I can get some more. Okay, you know what? I think I have enough. That's, um... Alright, 12. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I guess I don't really care too much about the 2x city boy. But shiny box, I think it's like a 3% chance. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I, I pulled a roar from a shiny box. It's okay. 75% chance for three. 25% chance for four. Ah. Dang it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I got it. But it is what it is. Love the disappointment I have for it not being a four. Love it. That just means I have to come back later, but my Oz days are done for now. My dude, I was actually shaking. Oh my goodness. 73 Oz runs. Got the Roar 3. I am gonna main this ring. I'm gonna be using this for bosses today. I don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make in my times, but we'll see how it goes.
Uh, or level 230, kind of hard lucid type dummy, 40 second BA. We just seen what we can do with it. Unlimited health, put reduction on it. No arcane because it is what it is. Usually off of dummies like these, I gauge my clears off of 6 trill, which I should be hitting since I am clearing weekly. I've cleared hard lucid three times already. Just use my dice. Have all that up. Pressing Lucid Burst? Yeah, basically. With my Roar. Roar 3. I'm like mentally prepping. Should be good now. Do not dash after Howling Fist. I didn't even have my, um... Also, I don't even think Lord of the Deep was attacking for a while. Because I... Didn't move. I have to do that again. EA already seems like a really low in general. <laughs> like, this is quite low. I know Dash at the Fist, I rush out the Roar. Boom. 6.4. I can do better. I'll try again. That was a pretty slow startup. Alright, this is a bit better though, sort of. I don't know if I could hit 7, I could maybe hit 7 with that. 8, 9, 40, 7.1, yeah, okay, that's good. And unfortunately useless, Jadal Prike Activato. I did. 3 Covert, I will not use Weapon Jump. I'm just going to, um... Hold in everything until the roar. Will it be so transparency? I'll be transparent the way I hide from all of y'all, honestly. Well, that was good, that was good. That was really good. Okay. Oh, decent skills. I was like, oh no. Aha. I don't hit at least 10k. What? Sorry, I can't hit like the minimum GMS reboot score. My bad. Dang. It'd be like that. Okay. Yay. This run already sucks. I use lightning form like three, four seconds late. What to do, what to do, what to do. And with all forever? No, I gotta come back when my gear is closer to finished. Wish I was. I don't think I would go for a weapon jump four. Like as soon as I get roar four, it's probably up.
I don't like my score. Something tells me my burst is going to get messed up by the phase change. We'll do this first. Yeah, this run is not good. This sucks. That is so bad! Oh man. You know what? It is what it is. I've become so much stronger that my runs have gotten worse because of when I phase. I would have to do things a little differently. I don't know if I want to run again. I don't care. See how the lucid run goes with this ring of restraint. Level 3, 4 minus 1. Knee drops. First boss today. Well, I finished my Dark Knight bosses and I got nothing. So lucky, not fair. Okay. I don't have a job coupon. Thanks to whoever called that out in chat. Wait, nobody did? I remember it on my own? That's crazy. Ain't no way you did that. What if you get a Jingo and it falls off the clock tower? Nice. Be pretty freaking cool. See slime solo with roar. Oh no. Uh, still too weak. Man, if my GPQ score was lower than usual because my burst was absolutely scuffed from the face change. Thank you, we'll take it. Luck dependent P3, yeah. At least I can withstand like bad RNG phase threes. Phase threes now. I'll get a mark next week. As of right now, or, or we can get one today, actually. Never mind. I take that back. Finally have all the Dawn pieces. I can't wait to tap them eventually. It's gonna be so good. These buffs. I'm over here doing these other bosses, and I'm just like, dang. I didn't even think about Hard Lotus. You need to see how much damage this does. Not enough. Wait, sub seven minutes? Oh, finally! A sub seven minute run. Not bad. Nice. Two boxes of nothing in it. Okay, what do you do my non CRA weekly and daily crystals plus H Lucid and Hard Lotus so for 1.5 build? Okay, cool. Real fast. Might take a bit longer since we're not fully buffed. Let's see what we get. Oh man, another week without a ring. Nine plus CRA and Omore, I guess, 456 mil. I have, uh, what, like 15 minutes till my next boss? Yep. I'll decide what that will be soon. Man, that's upsetting. Really just pulled that off, huh? In the remaining skills. You know, for guild skills running out and how scuffed this first burst was going into phase two, that wasn't too bad. And even before those shops, anyway. I'm, I am not. I'm out of it. I'm so out of it. The um, Bustella earring though. We're all been trying to tear this up with all these boss cubes. So annoying. Unique. I'm done. I don't know if I want to tap any or not tap, but cube anything else because I might transfer to them. But we will see. Boom. <laughs> I hold on. Really? A primal lessons? That's it? That's all I get? I, um, Miller reward, which is the last reward of the entire event. You get a mount. And the mount from this event is whatever mount you've missed from past Golden Chariot events. I got this horse on my Dark Knight. I think it looked really cool, which I, I honestly might do the same on the buck as well. And wait, does it come with the 90 day teleport? I don't think it said it did. 
Oh, it does. I don't know. I'm so excited about this because KFS doesn't have hyper teleport rocks. We just have those ridiculous teleports with um the 30 minute cooldown. And the mounts also have a 30 minute cooldown on them. It's a new day now, day 242. Uh, it is Sunday Maple, so it is 2x Monster Park EXP day, which means today will probably be the day where I actually do 7 runs spinning Maple points on Monster Park. So uh, I'm going to spend about 1.5k in my Maple points, and with that I should be getting around 63 bill from Moonbridge Monster Park, and I do it Monster Park Extreme, I get around 210 bill from that. So I should be getting around 273 bill from Monster Park, which is about 2% EXP today, literally just from Monster Park. I'm also going to be doing the unthinkable, uh, now that I'm kind of done with Oz. I'm going to try to go for a wealth pot grind today, which will be the first thing I actually do. And I'm going to try to do it at Hotel Arcs at Waste 4. Now, obviously, I'm no Korean mastermind just yet, and I might get that right sentence capture or lie detector. Um, I will use the knowledge that I currently have to see if I can figure it out. Like I've been saying, I always wanted to do the first one blind. If I do the first one blind and I fail, I'll probably go ahead and tag some people, you know, when I do get jailed, uh, people that can maybe help me out just in case I do get it again when I try to go back to that map. Because what happens is whenever you fail a lie detector, you go to jail. But once you leave jail and you try to go back to that map, you immediately on site get another lie detector on that second lie detector. I'm not sure if it's going to be another right sentence one or if it's going to be a like a literal captcha. If it's a captcha, super easy, right sentence. Uh, I might need some assistance if I fail. But I'm just testing the waters a little bit, seeing kind of sort of how frequently they'll spawn and how important it, i mean i'm going to have to learn it and figure it out regardless you know sooner or later delaying the inevitable pretty much especially since i was just doing Oz for the past week and a half but we're just gonna have to get back into it because can't be wasting too much time plus i want to start farming as much meso as possible for the upcoming 5 10 15 event whenever that may be that still hasn't been confirmed yet i have uh, Three crystals, hard bosses, hard Damien, hard Will, hard Dark Nell. So I could sell these for 2.1 bill. So the only bosses I'm missing are Seagloom and Vihila, which is 1.75 bill, it looks like. So I'll be over 33 bill with that. Uh, might even be at 34 bill today, depending on how much money I make off of this upcoming wealth pot. Really excited to try out Hotel Arcs and uh, see if I can actually pull off grinding there. But also, shout out to the stream yesterday, we got my 4th Dawn item, which is a Twilight Mark, and we teed up the Cell Earrings to Unique with the Free Cubes, so now I don't know what to do with the Free Cubes anymore. I will absolutely transfer over to 19 stars on these and try to get to 22 off of that. If it blows up, it blows up, I just repeat the same process, but these two items are always going to start off at 19 stars, whereas with the Estella Earrings, I just start Force off rip. I want to talk about one more thing as well, and it's my GPQ score. I do not know how I'm going to make this work. This I'm in a really, really awkward situation with how I'm killing this, like, covert boss. One problem I want to address is ring swapping. Now that I am the proud owner of a Roar 3, that means I have two good rings, Weapon Jump 3 and Roar 3. I would use Weapon Jump at the beginning for the initial Howling Fist. But I think that would overkill stage 4, so I wouldn't get all that damage off in anticipation of stage 5. And I do not think I could just DPS until stage 5 and use Howling Fist then, because in my opinion, I feel like that would be too late. I could try to do another run, but I honestly don't even want to buff up for it at the moment, and I'm just feeling... I'm not feeling too good about it. Second problem is the final burst at the end, which I lose a big chunk of it because it transitions over to stage 6. It's killing me. I lost so many points off of that. It's not even funny. I try to see if I can like pop my roar, throw the energy balls at it, you know, see if that will be good enough for it to go to stage six and then I'll link fist stage six. There might be the way there might be a way to make that work, but I'm not really too sure. But from the looks of it, if I just do that and then DPS with Octo Punch, I will probably lose my roar before I could even use Howling Fist, which is extremely tough for me at the moment. I think that's something I'll leave to next week though, but next week I need to do GPQ like, 
you know what no 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 not even next week i'll do it tomorrow just to make sure i have a score down considering i probably even won't be on for half of the week about to take waste four for a test drive here probably do a six minute ba i want to go ahead and get the daily here since we're gonna be here anyway and change up my v matrix and everything that i currently have to and i'll probably pop a crit damage guild skill because i mean i'm not really gonna be actually grinding for like another hour anyway so what I'll do is I will put, let me pop this, I'll put Urda Fountain right here, and then just kind of go around and do my usual thing. For example, let me just go ahead and buff up real quick, really quick with my V-Skill buffs. I'm doing, um, was that a Fatal Strike proc or, I'm actually doing really close to 4, dang, I'm in Mace with you as well. Um, decent HS is not an auto buff by the way, let me go ahead and put that there. I'm doing really crazy damage lines with Click Bomber. This is like easily one shot guaranteed with that. And Art of Fountain almost one shots, but it doesn't one shot exactly. Let me put Rope Lift on. But this is what I'll be working with. I will see how this six minutes goes. I dig this. I got 15 seconds left, but I dig this. Granted, this definitely isn't like the best rotation or anything, but I'm. Woo! This might be my highest, grandest kill rate. And it could be a lot better too, considering how low my damage still currently is. Turn off. 1569 in 6 minutes. Granted, I was on a room for most of that time, so I got 25 bill EXP. But that was with no 2x coupons, no MVP, uh, no gold potion or anything like that. This is crazy. I This is definitely the highest kill rate I've fought in Grandis. I love it. This map is good. This map is really good. Now, if I was really consistent with one-shotting with everything, then I could easily do, like, 16k. No, I'm sorry, 17k per hour, not 16, but I can't, so it is what it is. I got 31 mil in 6 minutes, which is 310 mil in 1 hour, without a wealth potion, so it'll probably go up to around 360 mil-ish, I might be able to make 700 mil in 2 hours. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think... If I, were if I were to commit to reaching 276 this episode, I would have to do at least two wealth potions, maybe three. Which isn't a lot, but that still leaves a lot of room for me getting that lie detector. If I don't get it this episode, I'm not gonna say that I'm like, not gonna get it ever, but it'll be pretty unlikely that I do. I feel like if I get it and I somehow pass it first go, I probably won't even get it for a while. But it'll always come back regardless. But I think today with Monster Park EXP and grinding and doing dailies and whatnot, I will probably hit 92%. I want to say 92%. I think 92% is a pretty decent estimation. Um, because I'm probably going to get like, what, 5%? I'm expecting about 5% in two hours. Um, once I pop full EXP buffs and everything. It might be more, might be less, but I am expecting about 5 which means that with the time I have left in the week, I only have to do two gold pots. I don't really have to do three. Um, I think with what I got going on outside of the game as well, I probably only really have time to do two gold pots anyway. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad that I got done with Oz when I did. So I should be on pretty smooth sailing for 276 this episode. Oh my goodness, I have three X's. I have two and a half hours worth of three X's that expire in like four days. Okay, I think I'm going to hit 276 tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's splendid i love it it is grind time uh spirit pendant maybe i should have put this on earlier but you know what yeah we'll use it i hope this doesn't hinder my damage too much it'll be really kind of bad if it did i'll be very sad but for what we got we got um oh wait i don't want to move that i got my 3x which i'll put right here um mvps i got four of them right here in gold pots I think they're in the storage. Yeah, 17 in the storage. I guess if I want to be safe, I'll also use red pots while I grind as well. It's cause. But the two hours begins. I guess the goal, considering I'm using three X's, will be 90%. And I gotta probably change channels a few times because this is a bit of a popular map, sort of. Uh, it is really early in Korea or really late rather. So there will be a lot of people here, but good time to grind, I guess. I don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes yeah 90 percent is the goal i will report back in two hours and i'm done i went about three minutes over the wealth pot 
because you know 15 minute coupons they don't always they're not always one to one with everything you know they're kind of annoying but i'm at 90.7 percent which i believe is 6.4 percent in two hours so 3.2 percent an hour with 3x granted i wasn't even playing the game the whole time and when i say that i mean like i'm like doing things in the back you know tapping out of the game every now and then so i probably could have gotten pretty close to seven percent if i was actually really optimal about my grind but i do not care i went from 31.5 bill to 32.2 bill with the amount of money i have as soon as i do um gloom and vihila today i will be at 34 bill which is super good i'm going to be finishing off this week with over 37 bill which is a bit more than i expected and that's the kind of stuff that we need but I'll be streaming soon, I'll be doing my last two bosses, and then the rest of my dailies, and uh, honestly, that's pretty much it. Not too much going on. We have one energy ball left. Wow. <laughs> um... Okay, that was awkward, could have been better, but yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> What's a week for these bosses, man? Still no drops. I will, the Twilight Mark, I still got that, but I only have Hilla left now. Oh man, I figured that would have been a little bit faster, but looks like killer time didn't really change all too much. Oh well. This week sucks. Even if I did just get a Twilight Mark, I'm still not getting any Arcanes. Crystals, 1.8 bill. Day 243. I did Scrapyard and Dark War Tree on this character last night. I was going to do it on both the Dark Knight, and the Dark Knight and the Dawn Warrior, but then I realized that's not really necessary, in my opinion. I can just go ahead and do it again on this character, and then do it on my Dark Knight, and then I'll have all the items necessary for the Dawn Warrior. I'll be bossing on my Dawn Warrior tomorrow, and I believe if I get two more Damien Stones, then I should have enough for full Absos. Today, I've already done my dailies, and I'm about to grind. Whole entire wealth pot, and I will be reaching 276. This will be the last grind session that I do on this character. I should be at 35 bill after the fact. So after that, the remaining mesos will just come from me doing bosses on my Dawn Warrior and my Dark Knight. I'm not gonna wear my spirit pendant this time around because I actually it actually felt like a pretty noticeable damage loss. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh was not the biggest fan of it. Like 1.3 mil range. When I only have 22 mil, it's quite big, and I kind of need the damage, so I, yeah, no spear pendant. Going to use all my MVP coupons, I have 8 MVPs, um, I do have 30 minutes in 3x, I will need to buy another, what do you call it, another 2x coupon from here, so I'll go ahead and do that right now, and I got 3k coins, that's a lot of coins, but I'm gonna still keep saving up though. I have 23 of these small EXP pods. I probably have more. I have 32. Yeah, we're definitely using these. I also have Mystic Door from Monster Park Extreme earlier today. Or Heaven's Door, my bad. Um, I'm just going to keep it. It is what it is. I got a Violetta Lie Detector earlier today doing dailies. So I hope I got rid of the Lie Detector curse that I might have to maybe deal with eventually for the day. You already know how it goes. Yeah, the two hours begins. Um, I'm not sure when exactly I'll level up, but I'll definitely record the level up as I get close to it happening. I do want to see how long it does take me, though. Finally moving on up in the world. I got 19 minutes left in my vault pod. I did crash, so I think I was offline on the game for like a good two or three minutes before I got back on because my internet went off for a little bit. So that was unfortunate, but it is what it is. We back into it, and we are at 99.999. And the level up will be right here. 
Here we go. 276. I really love the Reboot EXP rate compared to Reg. The rates I'm pulling over here, very similar to what I was pulling on my Dark Knight on Reg server in my 270s, going for 275. But the EXP curve at 275 plus is a bit ridiculous, because instead of just only 1% extra per level, it's 10%. So the 2.6 an hour that I was getting earlier on 2x is now probably going to drop to around like 2.34. That's fun. I will still be grinding out this last 20 minutes and then that will be it for the whole week pretty much. And Mesa wise, I should be barely hitting 35 bill. Like right at the end of it. I haven't been keeping track of my notes, but I think I started at 103, I want to say. Here they are right here, 115, so I've gotten 12 this 12th pot, which, you know, could be better, but I'm not going to be upset about it. I'm literally going to dump all of them onto the Dawn Warrior, because I feel like my Dawn Warrior definitely needs them. Oh, this is like a, what I was saying, there goes my game again, or I think it's trying to reconnect, but I might crash again, it'd be like that. Done. I crashed again, by the way. This game is too hard for me, honestly, but... Hey, I got through my last 3x coupon, I got 35 bill, I'm almost 1%, so I'm up good, I don't even care. I can get on the dumb over here for a little bit. I have 118 nodes, may as well go ahead and open all of those nodes over there on that character. Man, I need another growth potion selector so bad. Honestly, I'm just really open for it. Because it's like, I just haven't felt like doing dailies on this character at all. I want to see if there's like, an event, you know, sometime in the next couple weeks, I will end up giving one. From the looks of it, no. We just have the password event that starts next week, which have which we have a very, very, very small chance of receiving some extremely expensive items, such as this level 222 Star Force scroll. You know that'd be be pretty cool to have uh, on my buck on the week I would get in in this terror job. I, I think that would that's a possibility. It'll probably not um not likely to happen, but could happen. What am I working with today? This boost node? I want to see if I get the main trio on here, which is uh, not the bind, but rather the summon that I've been looking for for a little bit. But I have very little of these I could boost, so I doubt I even got it. I didn't get it. I just flood it all into this skill and then boom, level that up. Uh, and then I go ahead and level this here, which is already the trio, which is why I locked it. And I go ahead and level this up. So I just got six levels now my boost nodes are level 28 instead of 18 which is good uh fifth job skills nothing for cosmos uh elysian has two so that levels up to six um we have eclipse nothing flare slash we got two flare slashes that goes up to level three and then if there's anything else on the side i would definitely like to level that as well like hs and uh uh that's it that i have equipped I should start locking some skills that I know that I want to keep, like Blink, and you know, some other things. Uh, don't really know if I want Erda Nova. I'll keep Erda Will and the birds. I do have Cygnus. Yeah, let me go ahead and keep Cygnus. Keep Fountain, Aura Weapon, Body of Steel, and that's probably it. Getting rid of everything, 2.4k, so you will go ahead and do that. And I'm not really sure how I want to balance this out. Um, if I want to like line up more my V skill levels, I'll say. But there has to be some sort of like ideal skill that's best to level up. Okay, I'm gonna throw everything in Elysian, aka Rift of Damnation. Literally everything, because apparently this is just like straight up the best ability that this class has, and it goes all the way up to 15. Apparently how it goes, according to a random Korean source, uh, which I'm just gonna follow because I don't know any better, uh, Elysian is the best, followed by Cosmos, followed by Aura Weapon, then followed by Flare Slash, and then Eclipse. It's interesting that Eclipse is the last V skill that you level up. Um, you even level up Aura Weapon first, which is kind of wild. And then you level up Cygnus, and then you level up uh, the birds. I don't want to do my bosses on here today to test this out. <laughs> Not even going to lie. See how much stronger I got with just the nodes. Oh yeah, I can get two pieces of Abso as well right now. Um, I'll go ahead and go to Dark Old Tree and get my weapon first. Got the five Damien stones needed, so go ahead and get them. Um, Two-handed sword. I skip it. 
I'd imagine it'd be like one of the first weapons to show up, but I guess not. Two-handed sword. This is it right here. There we go. Just making sure that is it. We purchased that. And boom. It has a terrible flame. It's all good though. We already have the glove. So I'll just go ahead and put that here. And I will lock it in place. And then let me get the coins. And I will do... I'll do shoot next. So get that. And then we just go down to the shoes. Over your shoes. Purchase them. Flame check. It sucks. Honestly, even if we do get a Star Force event next weekend for the next episode, I can still get all my Absolos in time because I could do Damien now, and then I could do Damien right after Weekly Reset in like a few days. And even if I only got one stone from each Damien run, I would have enough to get the shoulder. So I'll be good. Is a drop coupon necessary? Nah, not really. I won't buy one. So... Oh. A lot of time has passed, and uh, I mean a lot of time, like, we're pretty much about two days into the future now. It's day 245, which is the last day of the week, and not only that, but there's about four hours left until weekly reset, and I still need to finish up this character's weeklies because I did finish them, and I still need to do my Dark Knight's weeklies. The weekly bosses I did so far were Czak. You know, HMAG, Hard Hilla, and CPAP, and I believe that's it. With my new node gains, I killed CPAP, and I want to say like two bursts or so. So it was really fast. I also want to point out that over the past couple of days, I didn't do my Bucks dailies. I, I did do them, so I should be good on that. Uh, I was killing some daily bosses as well on boss day, but probably won't bother with them anymore because it doesn't really matter. I just want to go ahead and finish the rest of my bosses now. I will do. Uh, Pretty much everything, you know, C fell in below, um, starting from normal Arcarium and then normal Pig Bean as my only daily bosses, and then I'll finish the weekly bosses that I have to finish. And of course, no shot I'm going to get a dummy if I'm only fighting this boss once a week. I should run it a little bit more. Okay, everything except Lotus and Damien is done, so I will go ahead and sell these boss crystals and there we have it. Uh, actually... Hmm... Something was off on that. I know daily bosses reset, so I can't really check, but it seems like I was missing one crystal in all of that. Uh, maybe I- Oh, no, no, no. I disconnected the day I was doing these bosses in Horntail because my internet was messing up at the time again. So I was just like, all right, I'm done for the day. Okay, it all makes sense now. But I'll be taking another sparkling blue out of the storage. And of course, waiting for the usual guild blessing, and then I'll take a fame buff and then run both Otis and Damien. I really want to see what the time difference is though, because I'm sure it's uh should be pretty decent. I only have one buff reason. By the way, I should probably buy more. Dang, this is crazy. This is like a five minute, four to five minute faster peak time compared to before. And the only thing I did was get this character like a hundred nodes. Literally the difference of a hundred nodes. See now, that's pretty broken. That's quite broken indeed. I was about to make a remark of how nodes are too broken, and because of that, they shouldn't be able to be purchased in shops. But you know what? I already said it. I already said it. I'm going to do Damien now. And of course, I got two S cores from Lotus, and. Uh, uh, what is it? I don't even need Escorts on Lotus anymore without a drop coupon, no HS or anything. I've also been using Aura Weapon. I don't know if that if I brought that up at all just yet, but Aura Weapon is, um, I don't even know why I wasn't even using it before. I don't know why I was using Sickness over Aura Weapon in the past when I first killed Lotus on this character, but Aura Weapon is the go-to skill. Go-to, like, first common skill for this class, no matter what. Damien still takes ages because I um in phase one after my third burst I believe he was down to like 44% health left so I'm like okay there'll probably be a waste to do a fourth burst in this phase so I was DPSing for like four minutes four to five minutes just to be able to get it down to phase two and then now I use my burst in phase two you know wasted a lot of time I've used two bursts so far so that's why there's still like 12 minutes remaining. But a lot of my things are coming back up. So hopefully this is good enough. Also, I might die to this. Yeah, I'm too weak. When I'm off, I'm like actually too weak for that when I'm off burst. It's very sad. 
But now that I've popped everything, I should be going in for the clear right about now. Um, it's still gonna be a bit because well, there's balls everywhere, so it is still a little bit annoying. But um, let me find a position to where I can just blow this up, keep attacking, and then Damien dies. So about an 18 minute run, this boss sucks. I was still gonna run this probably tomorrow anyway, um, so we will see if I get anything. If I don't, it is what it is. Yep, only got one. Gotta get one more for the full setup app, so... But that wraps this character up. I'm going to immediately move on over to the Dark Knight. Takes about 34 minutes for both bosses. You know, that's actually not too bad, given its current gear. Doesn't even have Apsos, nothing is past 15 stars. Pretty much once I get those two things, this character is probably done. Except for maybe throwing a few more nodes on it. I would also have to redo the weapon, because I'm going to lose the unique pot. So, uh, yeah, I'll be cubing this. But 962 mil isn't bad. That's probably pretty close to what my Dark Knight will get. And that will be all the money that I get in total after that. Also, I got another Mega Burn from the calendar thing. So I'm probably going to have to figure out a random character to Mega Burn by tomorrow. Or it, it doesn't have to be tomorrow, actually. Nah, nah. I, def I definitely have the entire week. I have enough time. Luckily, my Dawn Warriors Lotus and Damien total time is pretty much the same time as my Dark Knight for literally every single boss, so I can just get this over with. Dark Knight is done. All of my half-hour buffs are starting to expire, so yeah, like I was saying, takes about that long. I have about 10 mil more than the Dawn Warrior, but that's just simply because the Dawn Warrior had to go buy some buff freezes. So, uh, I have, uh, what, 1.9 bill from both of these characters? Makes sense. So, for the end of the week, that puts me at 37.5 bill. And, uh, I think I gained, like, 11 bill this week or something. Literally because of the grinding I did just to finish up leveling to 276. And I didn't even grind for that long. If I was at it, like, every day, I would've got so much more money. You already would've known. But hey, it's all good. Um, that's good enough for now. Weekly reset is in about two hours, you know, a little over two hours, and I'm going to try to do the same exact thing over again, because I only have very little time to boss for this week. Not to mention, I have like this scare that there might be a Star Force event this weekend when I'm going to be out of town. So I got my plans. I got my ideas. I got, you know, I already know I got some things in the brainstorm coming up. There will be a way on how I can handle this and get things taken care of. There is a 5, 10, 15 event this upcoming weekend, though. I'm going to be I'm gonna be really interested. Very interested. I think from the looks of it, let's see. Chaos Slime is 777. Normal Slime is 234. So that's about a 500-ish mil loss. That means from daily and weekly bosses, if they were all done on the same day, my buck should make about, like, 6 bill from bosses about six bill very close to it maybe about 5.9 from the weekly bosses alone and then i got the dark knight and the dawn warrior those two give me about 1.9 bill off of their weeklies so that is that's about 7.8 bill from weekly bosses and then i get the rest of my money from dailies so if i was to cram in and somehow potentially get every single boss on every single character done by this weekend uh i would end up with Probably about 45, 45 bill, I would say. And if there is an event this weekend, 45 bill should definitely be a good amount of money to combat going 19 stars on my arcanes. Obviously no more than 19. Day 246, it is the beginning of uh, week 36. I think something like that anyway the Camilla event has ended and I did not buy out the shop I forgot completely I've been too yeah I sucks but I mean I got some items that I wanted to get like the Spiegelman hat and all that silly stuff going on so you know it's really not too bad the new event starts tonight I might be able to go over tonight but considering yeah I can go over tonight I do fly out tomorrow though, over to Los Angeles, so I might not be able to have any good recorded footage for episodes 
I want to say 246. No, no, no. Today's 246. Uh, day 247. I said episodes, not days, by the way. Uh, for days 247, 248, 249, and 250. Might record for 251. Might. But I should definitely record for 252. I'll try to record for 251. But after today, um, you probably won't see much until 240. Uh, or, yeah, 251. But then there's also the Sunday Maple, I believe, on day 249. Which, if it's a 510-15 event, we're going to be in for some stuff. We're going to be in for some serious action if there's a 517 event this weekend. I got the whole idea planned out and everything. I'm not going to miss it. But we don't know if there's going to be one yet. For now, I'm just doing my dailies. I'm about to stream a whole bunch of weekly bosses. Like, I'm talking like my boss mule weekly bosses as well. Dark Knight and Dawn over here. Just so I get those out of the way. But then after that, I'll also be doing buck weeklies. And really, 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 really hoping that I don't like die out. Or do something stupid. Because I'm on very limited time. And if I don't finish these bosses this week, I'm going to be in some danger. But really, it's just about seeing what I'll be able to do. I'll probably stream starting with my... Uh, Dawn Warriors bosses, and then going over to my Dark Knights bosses, and then doing my Bucks bosses. Uh, Dawn Warrior obviously takes some time because Lotus and Damien are about 35 minutes total, as we saw previously, and then Dark Knight takes like half an hour for the whole boss. So I think all of my Dawn Warriors bosses in total take a little over an hour, so it's a lot better now. Um, I don't mind spending a little over an hour to get about like 950-ish mil, pretty good. But obviously, I need the juice from full 16 star gear and Absos. And I think that's as far as I have to fund the character. Probably won't find it too much after that. If I'm really feeling it in another event, I'll probably get it some 17 stars. But I do not have 17 star plans for that character at all. Because I do not want to spend that kind of money right now. The project is 19 star arcanes in the buck. Not 17 star full gear on the Dawn Warrior. Anyway, let me go ahead and bring these pets over to the Dark Knight. Not to mention, I have a symbol I have to level up, and I haven't leveled it up in the past couple of days because I was waiting to record it, <laughs> and I haven't been able to, but here I am now. Cernium, level 7. <sighs> this is done. I got my money up. 966 mil. I will do the Dark Knight now. This is done. Got 975 mil dropping that into storage. Oh, I got this cool mount from Fairy Bros. Is it cool? This mount looks goofy. I don't like it. I'll do Sid. I'll probably do Hard Lotus or maybe Hard Damien after this. We'll see. We're good. We're good. Nothing to worry about. Nice. Nice. It's time for Lotus now. That was a sub seven minute run. Okay, that's pretty good. Still. Yep. All because um, Zelpex said Berserker. All right, Damien drops. They're already ruined. You know, I actually thought that box was an eye patch for a second. Bruh, not again. Up next. I hardly will. Okay, that wasn't that bad of a run. Pretty clean, all things considered. Yeah, honestly. Probably could have done a Deathless, though, if I was a tiny bit better. I was a tiny bit better. Dang, people said book. The curse has happened. It's too late. Two weapons. That's my second weapon drop. I've gotten as many weapon boxes as armors. I don't think that's right. Cool. Good stuff. Anything? No. Okay. Uh, let's see how it goes. Ring swapping? Yeah, I'm gonna swap. Also, thank you very much for that sub. I really do appreciate it. I don't know, no, I can't do it like this, dude. Gotta use this ring. This is, no, that sucks. That's really bad.
Wasted your first Howling kind of? Yeah. Can't ring stop at the moment. It just doesn't work. None of what I want to do is probably going to work until I can, like, actually just DPS till stage 5. And I didn't even use Vapor at the start, so I lost a lot of damage right there, too. Yeah, this one is... This is a mess. Favorite food? Uh, ironically, just chicken. Would it be better to switch your burst? I don't think so, because I want to be able to throw everything out during Roar. And I always want to use my first tiling. This is like... This one sucks. <laughs> no, no other way to put it. It just sucks. I can probably still make it to stage six, but not really much is gonna happen after that point. This is a worse score than last week. Trying to experiment doing something else. Um, yeah, it's either I just get stronger so I don't have that awkward period anymore, or we'll see. And we got this. Oh, that's stun ball. Uh, we love Dunkle. That was a pretty tough run, though. My goodness. I go from last week deathless to one life this week. But to be fair, I died out one time and I left the boss a second time last week, so that deathless run really doesn't count. It's nothing. Nice. Two more bosses left. Job's finished. Armor! Let's go! Okay! Okay, we're up. We gotta drop. We gotta drop. This new event that just started, like, almost four hours ago. You got the EXP pocket. Uh, the Gold Richie password event is out. What is the goal over here? The, the main password... On reboots, it is three VAC pets. You could be the lucky winner of three VAC pets of the third edition. Different things of the EXP pocket. There's the actual EXP pocket itself, which I think is absolutely terrible and hardly even that good for mules. Uh, let me go over to Odium. I'll, I'll see if I can use it on like a certain mule or something. Second one isn't really much. I don't know if that's telling me like I didn't claim enough hours with the VXP. Well, then there's an event map for this. And it just has the Alinea BGM playing. And you can buy a, a chair. And when you sit in this chair, I think the amount of VXP you get for the EXP pocket doubles. Who is this guy? A pickaxe. What are we doing here? I have returned. It is day 251 now. I did skip four days because unfortunately that's just how it is. <laughs> I'm, I'm going by like the game schedule pretty much instead of like my own actual schedule. So while it should be day 248 for me, I'm just going to go ahead and skip 248, 249, and 250. So of course, I haven't been on in a while. I uh, just got back. I got five 15 minute EXP coupons for the time I was offline. I'm pretty sure I lost Meister Alchemy. No, 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 Meister Accessory. And we're going to look, I did. It's very close to being back to Meister again. So I better stop waiting now and get it back up. Luckily, there was no Star Force event over the weekend. Well, I me, mean, there was, but it was one plus one. And I don't have any items I care about 15 starring, so that doesn't really matter. If I had another boss meal I might have been working on in the process, then yeah, I would have loved to 15 star something, but I currently don't, so it is what it is. 
did my guild stuff before I left for those days, so I don't really have to worry too much about that at all. I am, um, I still get to keep my guild skills, so I can still go ahead and do my Vihila rematch, which I was supposed to clear the day before I left, but I failed miserably. So we got this up to Meister. Not really sure why I'd want to keep it at Meister. I just do, just because. But I was probably going to do like a back home stream today. I was planning. But before I do any of that, I need to go ahead and go into the new events that have been released on KMS a few days ago. Couldn't really talk too much about them in detail because I was doing, um, just doing too many bosses. And just had to make sure I get some bosses done before I left. So the first one is the I didn't do anything but events. They explicitly say but. Uh, this is just EXP pocket. So you stay on and you claim EXP. So when you are logged in, you get EXP every 10 seconds. When you are logged out, you get EXP every 20 seconds. And that's it. You claim a total amount of hours and you get a certain amount of rewards. For 20 hours claimed, which I just claimed 12 hours by the way, it caps at 12 hours, you get... 15 3x exp coupons that is a lot of 3x at 40 hours you get two trait boost potions which is extremely good because my dawn warrior can finally equip a pocket slot now <laughs> at 60 hours you get 30k honor at 80 hours you get um 12 authentic symbols for me or 60 arcane symbols if you want and then at 100 hours you get a chair i have no idea what the chair looks like and i'm definitely not getting it during this episode there's also an event map, an Alinea event map, which revolves around a Korean folklore of the ants and the grasshopper. Uh, it has something to do, something to do about how the ants are always out and working, and while the ants are out busy at work, like this ant right here, the grasshoppers are just chilling and playing music on their guitar, not really doing anything. Sitting in this grasshopper chair will grant you a bit more EXP from the EXP pocket every 10 seconds. And I mean like a tiny bit more. From the looks of it, it seems like I only got maybe like 10% more EXP compared to before. I, I may not be right, but it, it's only a tiny bit more EXP. I gotta see about claiming this on mules, seeing if that might actually be the wave for like some level 120 mules. I could get up to 140 just out of nowhere. Uh, that doesn't sound like a bad idea, but I've already missed almost a week of the event. It is whatever though. And then when you play as the ants, what you do as an ant is you want to transform into an ant and you will be hitting up some of these mines that are right here. This pink, blue, yellow colored mine. You press NPC chat on it and uh, you just get to them and that's it. Uh, the reward for the mining is, if I can find this ants again, the reward is for nine or for 10 mines, you get the ant as a mount. That's it. But if you mine 400 times, you get a golden pickaxe weapon. And then there is a hidden mission, which you kind of aren't really supposed to know of, I guess, unless people until people actually did it like a madman. But if you mine 4,000 rocks, you get a diamond pickaxe on some Minecraft shit. So I'm at 92. I was at 90. So I, I was doing that the day it came out. And then I just kind of got bored because I can't believe there's people who are actually willing to go and do this 4,000 times just with the diamond pickaxe weapon. I do not know how long that is supposed to take. I don't know if I want to do it or not. I might do it, but I'm not too sure. But that is it for the EXP Pocket Ants and Grasshopper event. There is one more event that I want to talk about. The Gold Richie's Password event. Gold Richie is given out some of the most expensive items in the entire game. I'm talking about ranging from a 22 star scroll for level 200 items or an entire vac pet set you literally get three vac pets of that set they were giving out the third edition earlier which was with the low glowy this looks like a master label four through six you can pick one of them i'm pretty sure they were also given out one through three before um again these are all just insanely overpriced nasty expensive items that you can get and how it works is you have to collect tickets from monsters these tickets have a pretty low drop rate um, you probably need to do dailies or hunt for about an hour just to get 100 tickets to be able to enter in whatever passwords you would want to get 
the special item. The winner of this safe event, the correct password is the lowest password, the lowest number entered that is not a duplicate. Numbers range between 1 and 10 million. Not exactly 10 million, but like 9999999 pretty much. Um, and the winner, of course, like I said earlier, is the absolute lowest level that or absolute lowest number that nobody else has entered. The numbers have ranged from like two, literally two as a winning number. I think all the way up to about 800. I don't know if 800 was winning a number or not. I'm pretty sure somewhere in the 500s was a winning number, but I'm not too sure about 800. I saw a list earlier, but I don't even remember it and I don't even know where to find it anymore. But so far, I'm pretty sure all of the winning numbers have been below a thousand, even though you can enter up to 9.9 .9 million. I do not think I will participate in this event. Maybe, you know, I could do it for fun whenever I get enough tickets just to see if I hit like out of random surprise, but I'm not going to try to actively participate because there is a new reward every 12 hours. The master label set here is going on for another seven hours and 14 minutes before they decide on a winner. And then after that, they move on to the next item. So here are the rewards, full vac pet set for third edition, uh, master label one through three, a unit star planet damage skin. This is probably like a top favorite KMS damage skin right here. Master label one through three hair. Um, I assume this is 20 million mesos. Um, this looks like, yeah, yeah, these are. So this is a reward you can get 20, 20 bill. Doesn't even sound like that much. So I'm looking at it and I'm just like, oh, that just kind of looks like whatever, honestly. <laughs> Here's the 22 star force goal right here. Um, and then we have Master Label 7 to 9, our hair, and then the Vac Pet for the second edition, so with the little pony, and then Master Label 7 through 9 here, and then Master Label 4 through 6, which is right now. So the next one is the full Vac Pet set for the first edition, which is actually a pretty fire set. If I have enough tokens by then or tickets, I'll try to go for that. Um, Master Label 4 through 6 hair, 1 million maple points for a full day. And then we got Master Label 4 through 6 air again, and then it's just all the items repeated, pretty much. The 22 star 4 scroll only shows up twice, so whoever wins that, well, yeah, there's literally only going to be like two winners. I don't know if it's two winners in the entire game, or two winners in the server, but there are going to be very little winners for this event. And Master Label 4 is the death set. The death set has the death site that is worth literal thousands of dollars on KMS Reg Server. I'm not even joking. That one goes for a lot of money. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people are trying to see if they can win this set. So for today, I'll try to take care of my dailies, do a V-Hilla rematch because I still have 6 billion mesos worth of boss crystals I haven't sold. Oh, this isn't exactly 6 build, this is more like 5 build because I still haven't cleared V-Hilla. Uh, <laughs> but we'll, we'll do it today, we'll do it today for sure. After this stash, I should definitely end up at 45 bill. But considering there are only two more days of the week, including today, I probably will not be able to hit 46 bill this week. But that's okay. More Mesa I get to have saved up for the Star Force events in X amount of days or weeks. I get, I don't know when 5, 10, 15 is. I just want it right now, man. My haste title is expiring in less than two weeks. It's like a week and a half at this point now. No, nine days. I have nine days left on the haste title. If I can't kill Hard Lucid after my haste title expires, I might actually cry myself to sleep. But hey, the Roar 3 helps a lot. Oh, I have to mega burn somebody. That's right. And I have this arcane armor box. And because there's no event, I will probably open up Caper Shoe, doesn't matter. I'll just go ahead and go with Shoe for now. That's it. My only missing characters are the Cygnus Knights. So I have a Dom over here, and I have a Wind Archer, I believe. Dom over here, Wind Archer, and Thunderbreaker. So I'm missing three Cygnus Knights before I have all the classes in the game created. So one of them is well, Blaze Wizard. Then uh, Nightwalker, then Mihal. I guess I'll burn a Blaze Wizard. So I'll just make it right now, get it to level 10, and then that's it. I will have to level it eventually within the next two weeks, but we'll see whenever that happens. Toriel's finally done. Can go ahead and become a Blaze Wizard. Job advance, use the burning, and then log off. Here we have it here. Now I got two weeks to play this character. 
Okay, time to go play my buck now. For example, so I have what? Three and a half hours, like I said. If I were to claim this on a mule with all of this mining that I've been doing, we will see how much EXP I get on like a level 120 character. Hours, and I get 70% on this Lara. EXP for doing nothing though, that's not bad. Actually, I wasn't doing nothing. I was mining very hard in the mines on my ant costume. Diamond pickaxe, man. Okay, hello time. 24 minute V hello run. Okay, okay. That was my fastest one yet. Ah. Two weapons and an armor this week. Two weapons this week. So now I have three weapons. <laughs> Dang. I'll probably have quite a bit of spares when I go for 22 on this. Crystals now from daily and weekly bosses. Every weekly boss plus daily bosses from one of the days. 5.992 bill. This is pretty much my weekly income. If you don't want to count the daily bosses, you would subtract like 56 mil or something. And yeah, that's it. It is day 252. And day 253 happens in 12 minutes. Yeah, I just went ahead and did everything already. Events, dailies included, you know, all that stuff. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So I'm wrapping up the episode here, really. Uh, doing dailies, I made around like 250-ish mil today. Uh, I never really kept track of like how much I made. So it was like get off of just doing like my daily mob kills and stuff like that. And it seemed to be pretty close to about 70 mil. Which is interesting to me, honestly. But uh, that just means that I make about 250 mil a day just off of doing my dailies. No weekly bosses included and all of that. Uh, it felt really nice to do my weeklies or as many weeklies as possible on the first day. Because I literally just didn't have to worry about it for the rest of the week. I've been claiming my EXP pocket whenever I could. Um, I can claim it again for the 40 hours. But the character that I've been claiming the EXP on currently is my Lara. I also have two of these growth potions from Fairy Bros. Uh, I think because I've been buying more of like the Vac Pet waters and stuff, um, they gave me an extra one per month to use now, so I guess that's cool. So I'll just go ahead and go to Kinesis with those two potions still, see what level it gets to. So we're at 188, I'm guessing 191. I failed. It's all good though, this character got a nasty 10 levels or nasty 10 growth potions from earlier, so I'm not even too bad. And then my Lara has gained 5 levels in the past week, thanks to this event. Would have been higher if I took more advantage of it, but it'd be like that. I can claim EXP right now, but it's only going to go up by like 23%. Um, this EXP from this event is so small, but I mean, it, it's free EXP, so I'm not going to complain. There's also rewards I can claim. A reward for hitting 20 hours and a reward for hitting 40 hours. This is two trait boost potions. Hold on. I just need to make sure these are account chanceable. Because now I can finally get this pocket item on my Dawn Warrior. Let me use one on here just to see how um how it works. Just in case it's like the good one. But um yeah, we'll see what happens. It is the good one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're bringing this to the Dawn Warrior. I'll probably also transfer like 500 mil. Just to flame something. I'm not even kidding. Let me see here. I got four of these already. And uh, which one has the best flame? This one currently has the best flame so far. Um, which isn't even that bad. But I wonder if I can try to get something better. Start off with like 20. I don't know what I'm looking for. But I rolled 56 and 5 luck on my first flame. Which blows. But it'd be like that. Ooh, 24 and 6. How is this a comparison? Wait, this is a lot better still. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'll just claim a third pocket item instead. 56 and 5 luck again. This game's too hard. Honestly, I'm probably done after these three flames. Because I don't want to go too stupid on some random character's pocket item. That like hardly matters. So I might just end up wearing this one. Didn't even need to spend any money at all. But hey, we take our chances. Charm is level 30, I get the pocket slot immediately, so I can go ahead and put it on. 
Uh, so I go from 11.1k to 11.3k. This makes me lose range, but putting this on brings me to 11.4. So I'd rather put on the one that gives me range. I'm still missing the normal iffy ring on here, but you already know how it goes. And that does it. That's all I got to show for it. Also, I've been working in the mines lately, you know, the fields, trying to get my, my pickaxe game up. As an ant, I've been working super hard, and my progress for the diamond pickaxe is currently at 2,000. 2,000 star candies. I just need to get 2,000 more before I can get it. I think it would probably take me, like, somewhat around two hours just to be able to finish it. Two hours of doing nothing but this right here. This is content. But forget being an ant for now. I am going to go ahead and uh, stop being an ant and become a grasshopper instead. Why don't we take a look at the checklist? I haven't seen that in like a couple of weeks. It has been exactly a month now since I defeated Hard Lucid. And I still don't think I'm anywhere close to slime, so that's cool. <laughs> It's been exactly a month that I have made very little gain since then and that's really just how it is I will say though other bosses did receive a significant damage boost from the ring of restraint 3 that I have obtained So I will check that off. So I'll have to just yeah ring of restraint 3 check off Unfortunately not a 4, but it be how it be uh, Nothing else on here got done, but it be like that But what do we have though? We have three arcane weapon spares I got an arcane glove and an arcane shoe spare. I have every single dawn accessory in the game now. Two Estella earrings, one daybreak pen, and one twilight mark. Uh, so that will be awesome for when it comes to the time that I have to star force them. Most of what needs to be done on this checklist is gated by star forcing. So, yeah, there's that. Also, grinding gods, done. And it's like, go back to doing AK Legion, so... Yeah, forget it. I don't even know what my game plan is currently, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this because I might just be like casual grinding, but I might have to think about it. So don't boss drops, two style earrings, one daybreak pendant, one twilight mark. And then remember after the uh, Star Force event, I will cube the weapon. I don't really need to hit 8k to cube the weapon anymore, but I just want to make sure I do it after I get all my arcanes to 19. So I only have one thing to check off in the past two weeks, but that's literally just because there has been no event, but it is how it is. Uh, every week, it's just another 9 to 10 build that I'm able to save up. Like, I'll probably have up to 54 build by the next Star Force event if it's this upcoming weekend. So it's like the longer I wait, the more likely I am to be able to hit these uh, Star Forcings. But that is about it. But um, this pretty much does it for today's episode or this week's episode or the episode that i'm giving out two weeks after the last <laughs> episode 40 40 episodes of reboot we got it all done um i will say though i think for the time being moving forward a little bit i will probably spend a little less time on this server in particular because there's something i want to do with the release of ignition on gms I know it's a surprise, but I've been wanting to play GMS for a while, ever since they announced Hyperburn, and I've been thinking about what classes I want to play, and I was telling people I'm going to Hyperburn or Dark Knight, and then I realized last minute, I don't want to do that anymore. So my new class for that is set in stone. Now as for the KMS series, I'm still going to be doing my dailies, my weekly bosses and stuff, still logging all of that. Um, I just really hope I can still get enough footage out for an episode every week. And if I can't do that, then I will go ahead and let you guys know and keep you guys updated on all of that. I don't even know how I'm going to record this GMS thing that I want to do yet. Um, I'm going to try to get to that. Maybe the same format as this, but I'm not really too sure. I'm sure we'll find out though. Yeah, that is it for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, I will see you guys in the next video.